Welcome back, my lords, ladies, and lieges, to another episode of Zodiac Reads, the series where Zodiac finds things to read on the internet, and then, well, he reads them for you. Back again on r slash RPG Horror Stories with the story of a newbie DM trying their hand at DMing for the first time, uh, only to be met with a bit of a problem player. Without further ado, let's get right into the story. A Tale of a Newbie DM and a certain Mr. P who acted like a real D, by user Knight99101. This is a story of my first time dungeon mastering. Well, sort of. I had technically run something that I called Dungeons and Dragons before, but it was really just a silly freeform game I ran with friends and family when I was a little kid. This time, we were running a legitimate Dungeons and Dragons 3rd edition, via an AIM, AOL Instant Messenger, private chat room. I had a very basic campaign setup. Mr. A, the paladin, T, the sorcerer, and J, the orc cleric, all met up in a tavern, where they were brought together by my character, a ranger who wanted to hire them to deal with some orcs who were causing trouble for his town. I won't go too much in depth because it's not super important, but the takeaway is that T, the sorcerer, quit the game after two sessions. No big deal, he just wasn't much of a gamer and had only joined because we practically begged him to, so we were fine with letting him go, it was his choice. We were now running a game with only two PCs and my ranger NPC. To make up for this, Mr. A agreed to run two characters, making a favored soul, basically a cleric with a sorcerer casting, who was the younger brother of his paladin. Mr. A also brought in two friends of his, C and the one who is the subject of today's story, P. P was playing an angel in service of the god of the good dragons, Bahamut, the same god that both of Mr. A's characters followed. So theoretically, this should be an easy fit to the team. Maybe it would have been. Except that P had the personality of a poop sock. His character barely interacted with the rest of the party, for one. His first session ended up getting disrupted after he got into a fight with J and then left the chat in a huff. Next session, we asked J and P to apologize to one another. They did, and we continued. We started out in our camp not far from the orcs' fort, discussing the party's plans to assault the enemy position. They came up with a pretty decent plan. It would start with an aerial assault courtesy of the wyvern that the party had managed to befriend, perks of having several followers of the dragon god, each speaking draconic and having insanely high charisma in diplomacy, and rain down flaming arrows on the fort to set it ablaze. Then, P, the angel, would cast resist energy on the remaining party members, and we would rush in to take our enemies down amidst the flame. To this day, I still don't know how the fight started. I still have my logs from that session way back in 2006, and I read through them again to write this, and I still have no idea why this happened. But P suddenly started screaming in out-of-character tags that none of us were listening to him, especially tearing into and making lots of anti-Semitic slurs against Mr. A. The thing is, I don't even know what the other players were supposed to listen to. As far as I can tell, he completely agreed with their plan, and if he didn't, then he clearly never said so until the point where he started screaming. This time, P decided to storm off in a huff in character. His angel went to scout the enemy fort. I told him to roll a high check to avoid being seen. He rolled a natural one, instant failure, and had his position peppered with arrows from the trigger-happy orcs in the fort. This is when he left the chat. He showed up again a few minutes later, saying that I should never question his ability to hide because he went through ROTC and he knew how to set up an ambush position. Whatever. The other players proceeded to finish up the orc fort while he makes pop culture jokes, talks about the popcorn he's eating, boasts about how cool his spells are, and invites his girlfriend to chat with us without permission. We ended just outside a cave in the back of the fort, where the orcs' leader, a fiendish or orc barbarian, was holed up. The next session, P immediately starts acting up again. The first thing he does is call lead in the marching order, then specifically says that his character refuses to walk into the cave. Why? Because, and I quote, I hate railroading. I'm still not sure what he meant by this. So Jay's orc cleric pushes the whiny butthole angel into the cave, and we get our boss fight with the fiendish orc and his three surviving minions. It's a tough fight, and several party members almost die. P, the angel, spends most of the fight making pop culture jokes. In character this time, until the fiendish orc at last expires. 
His rage wore off and he lost the plus four constitution bonus, dropping him instantly to negative 11 HP and killing him. Combat over. Going through the spoils, the party discovers that the fiendish orc was wielding a plus one orc double axe, and P wants it. Why does he want it? No one knows. His angel is better with spells. No one in the party has the exotic weapon proficiency feat required to use this weapon, but P wants it. He wants it so much that he gets into a shouting match with Mr. A's favored soul about who gets to have it. P, the angel, declares that he is Bahamut's will, and that as such, he gets to have the 2,000 gold piece axe to sell for his personal gain, and will straight up murder the favored soul of his own deity to have it. At this point, I finally had enough of his nonsense. As P, the newly fallen angel, flies away in rage, we end the session. I spoke with P privately after this, and he admitted to me that he had tried to keep the axe as revenge for another game where Mr. A took a magic item that his character had wanted. He further implied that getting revenge on Mr. A may or may not have been the only reason he joined my game in the first place. He did apologize to me and asked if he could roll up a new character. He wanted to play a pyrokineticist. Pyrokineticist? He wanted to play a pyrokineticist and asked if I would allow him to burn down the quest giver's village so that he could meet the qualifications of that prestige class, which requires you to set a building on fire just to see it burn. I told him that no, he couldn't, and instead he was banned from the game. But the story doesn't quite end here. I met P again a couple years later, when he asked to join an ongoing story RP that Mr. A, J, C, and myself were a part of. P openly stated in his first session that he was only here to get revenge on me, the worst DM he'd ever met, and that his character was going to be a rival of mine, whose sworn duty was to kill my character. Needless to say, P was not invited back for a second session. I also learned at that time that P owned and maintained a website dedicated to name and shaming people that he'd already peed with and didn't like. It was literally hundreds of entry logs, with real names if he knew them and a description of how the person had offended him. Somehow, he never realized the one common thread between all of these bad encounters. I thought about trying to find myself to see what he had to say about me, but I got tired after the third page. Not much that I could say that would be anything groundbreaking or insightful, just generally sounds like someone who kind of looks for trouble, so to speak, looks for drama. I think the biggest evidence of that is it seems like he joined one game for revenge on another player and then was going to join this new game for revenge on the OP. Just seems like a bit of a constant chain of getting revenges on people and that's the only reason why he plays, which is probably not a very healthy relationship to have with D&D, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what the end goal is. I guess to make the other person's experience frustrating, I suppose? By extent, also making it frustrating for everyone else? Sounds like a riot at parties, that's for sure. Anyway, I would love to hear all of your lovely thoughts down in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time, my lords, ladies, and lieges. Zodiac, out.